This video is sponsored by Experian. Stick around till the end to find out how you can help boost your credit. Dare I say we are long overdue for a little checkup on the lovely Woe Vicky. It's been two years now since I made a video about her when she stormed onto the scene in 2017 as a young white girl that was fully appropriating black culture. You, you wish you could say n like me, bitch, you can't. Bitch, I'm <laughs> Jack, I'm from Zone 6. That, that, that's why your mama getting sued by a credit card company and that's why Malik or NBA don't even watch your stupid ass. Oh, this is good. This is good stuff. Entertaining stuff. I, man, I love. Man is. <laughs> Jump high. <laughs> and even going as far as to say she herself was black, despite what it looked like. And then there was, of course, the liberal use of the N word, which stirred the pot, as you can imagine. And she made her rounds and videos on YouTube from commentary pundits such as myself. One thing led to the other, and, and there she was, a pseudo internet star. Now, inevitably, I know some of you are thinking, oh, Leon, why do you waste your time talking about these Instagram things? Why do you worry about it? Let me stop you right there. Hey, I don't worry at all about it. Well, Vicky can exist and be well, Vicky, and I won't lose a second of sleep over it. But I am, admittedly, I have this overt intrigue in the way our culture in the social media age kind of propels, catapults these abrasive personalities to stardom for seemingly no other reason than their willingness to be overly obnoxious. I mean, it happens all the time, so it almost seems commonplace by now, but on the timeline of humanity, this idea that talentless idiots can become celebrities and make comfortable livings for themselves and have millions of people look up to them simply by existing as a talentless idiot online? It's insane. I mean, the boot gangs, the Danielle Bregolis, uh, just uh, take me for example. I make a living online and I'm a tick. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm incredibly talented. Oh, sure. I mean, up. like, whoa, baby, I, I surprise myself sometimes, but I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, no. Full blown idiot. No, I'm remarkably intelligent, too. God, okay, now you're just a, lying straight up. That was a terrible example. And humble. Clearly. And humble. I'm like a trifecta of good. Trifecta I just, of fat, maybe. That was a horror. I don't know why I was going to use myself as an example. That makes Loser. no sense. But you understand what you get what I'm saying, right? So we're going to check in with Woe Vicky to see how she's doing, see if she's still black, <laughs> see if she's still lobbing the N word around like it's a baseball at Dodger Stadium. But before we do, uh, I want to do a quick recap of her come up for those of you who may not be as familiar with this wonderful and talented talented young internet star. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vicky splashed onto the social media scene in early 2017 as a young white teenage girl claiming to be black. Her liberal use of slurs and impressive lack of self-awareness unsurprisingly caused a wave of outrage online that would ultimately be the catalyst that sparked her new career. She continued doubling down, going as far as to lie about where she was brought up and posting an Ancestry.com result on Twitter purportedly showing she had African heritage, which she claims gave her the right to say the N-word wherever and however she pleased. Her mastery of the clout game was apparent as she quickly associated herself with other budding Instagram personalities at the time like Lil Tay and got into an obviously forced beef with bad baby Danielle Brigoli, who I consider the ringleader of the useless famous people movement. So fast forward two years and it looks like Woe Vicky's been hitting it hard, man. 2.4 million on Instagram, posting very regular content. Looks like she's taken a little bit of a shift towards a lot of modeling content, which makes sense when you're trying to maybe make less race baiting content in order to land a couple sponsors maybe. In fact, she's even got God is Great in her profile file now, which is perfect when you're trying to rehabilitate that image of someone who cut their social media teeth on being a race baiting dickhead. Three quarters of a million views on her latest Instagram post from two days ago. Looks like a bottle cap challenge. Let's take a look. So basically you just gotta, you gotta... Whew. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to comment fire here, but I'm on a computer and I don't have emojis. But you know what? I could maybe just highlight that one. Command C, Command V. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Fire, dude. Sick post. All right, she looks like she's talking directly to the camera in this one, so maybe we'll be able to understand a single word she says. I got a word of advice for all my females out there, baby. You is beautiful naturally. <gasps> I'm beautiful? <laughs> Stop it. So the caption on this one again is period to, which I suppose is a cute way to spell the slang word for period, 
which seems to be one of her taglines, which is <laughs> adorable. You do not need that surgery to be beautiful. Your little titties. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> you do not need that surgery to be beautiful. One more time? Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Got it, okay. <laughs> your little titties is perfect, okay? I if you if you if you want your, you know what I'm saying, you you a little fat and you want that little that little stomach to go away, get what? You go to the gym, you put it work in, you gonna get right. You want your buddy to get bigger, you go to the gym, do some squats, you gonna get right. Hold on a second, is she going hashtag motivation Monday, hashtag fitspiration on us right now? I gotta tell you, she is full of curveballs, man. I did not see this one coming. And get what? It's gonna look way better than what some what some surgery can do. Cause half the time that shit don't be looking right. So you might as well just get right yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put it work in. That shit gonna come, baby. Work with what God gave you. You is beautiful naturally, okay? You gotta learn to love yourself naturally. You do not need that makeup to be beautiful, baby. You is beautiful, period. Okay, I'll buy it. You know, I make jokes, but I can't say I really disagree with the message there. And she nailed it, just ended it with period. Period. Boom, drove the point home. Or you think she ended it there. It would have been a great way to end it, but for some reason she drew it out and completely, completely lost it at the end here. Let's take a look. Period. And that, that, that's just what I gotta say. That's what I gotta say. You beautiful, period, baby. No, Everybody's beautiful. you said that beautiful. already. Wait. Learn to love yourself. Well, you have another point to drive home? half the time, you know what I'm saying? How are you going to end it like that? She delivers this beautiful soliloquy of self-empowerment really drives the point home. You are beautiful the way you are, period. Yeah. But that, and that's, that's what I got to say. And that is you are beautiful. You're beautiful when you're at the gym and your little tees go, you are beautiful the way, the period. I tell you, you are beautiful because you know what I'm saying? Because half the time, and that's how it ends. <laughs> just, leave, just leave it at the period next time. Uh, oh, Vicky, I got to be honest. Motivational speech, 9 out of 10. Knocked it out of the park, but you really fumbled the ending there. I give that a solid 4 out of 10 at best. Definitely room for improvement, but I'm loving this new direction you're headed. Oh, look, a follow-up. Guess what? Anything you want in life, if you speak that shit into existence and you put the work in, it's going to come. You pray about it. You ask God. This shit going to come. Because guess what? When I was 16, I used to tell myself every day. I used to tell my friends, I'm going to be rich. And I'm gonna be famous. And look at me, I'm 19 now, and that shit done came through. All right, I was on board with the everyone is beautiful routine, but now you're, you're laying it on a little bit thick, Vic. <laughs> and get what? A lot of people, and I did what I had to do to, to get here. And get what? A lot of people want to be in my position, but they don't want to do what I had to do to get here. So get what? They don't really want that You did what you had to do. That is commendable. Uh, what was that again? I forget. You acted black to be in your position, lettuce, mayonnaise, and onions. <laughs> oh, that's right. I had forgotten you basically made a mockery of African-American culture. Uh, but, you know, you had to do what you got to do for the clout. And you did it. So, golf clap. And along those lines, to try and answer that question, is Wo Vicky actually black? It's uh, a difficult one to answer. It's so much convoluted information on the internet. I mean, this is the reason she blew up years ago because of this controversy. And now, years later, as the internet likes to do, they just kind of forgot all about it. And while Vicky's thriving, doing her own thing, she's, I can't, in her new content, find anything where it, she talks about it or it's never brought up. She dropped completely the use of the N word, which I'm sure her management sat her down and were like, hey, Vicky, uh, you know, we, we know we kind of like to do this thing and it kind of got you some followers to begin with, but maybe, just hear me out. Maybe you could not use the N word and we'd be able to land you a sponsor once in a while. What do you think? What do you think? And apparently it worked out because all of her Instagram, like her modeling posts are all sponsored by Fashion Nova. So, you know, they cleaned her up. They cleaned up her image. But as far as if she's actually black, from what I can tell, and I did a lot of research and watched a lot of content that won't be included in this video, but... I don't think so. She also claimed to be from Zone 6 in Atlanta, which I guess is what you would consider a, a rougher neighborhood in the city of Atlanta. But turns out... I don't think so. She's from like a wealthy suburb and comes from a, a wealthy family that lived in a mansion. Her father is a successful... I don't think so. ...entrepreneur in the... I don't think so. ...business. As far as the Ancestry.com test results she posted years ago to Twitter trying to prove that she was black, accompanied by a tweet, in fact, that said, I can say... I don't think so. ...if I want to, because I'm black. Even if they are real, and her DNA says a percentage of her ethnicity is African, a quick Google search will show you that there is a large population of white Africans of European ancestry that descended from white ethnic groups originating on the European continent in Africa, like millions of them. On the grand scheme of things, I don't think so. It doesn't really matter. I get it. Who really cares? And as far as the voice goes, either she started, when she started this whole act, kind of took on that voice and has done it so much that it's now her actual voice, or she's just really, 
really committed to the role either way. Uh, I don't know, I did find this video on Instagram though that see, it seems like she breaks character for just a half a second. Action. Y'all see this blonde hair? This blonde hair got me feeling like a whole new ass, whole new bitch, whole new hood. I can't go ahead. Also, I found this compilation on YouTube of her saying that pretty much everything she does on Instagram is an act and she plays it up and does all this crazy stuff for clout. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all motherfuckers is so dumb. You think all this shit I do on Instagram is for real? All that shit be kept. Y'all ain't never heard of actors. All that shit is an act. Okay, I don't really act like that in person. Are y'all like dumb? Like, I know some of the stuff I do be dumb and stuff, but y'all don't realize all that just be for clout. Like, y'all are so easily, easily to like react to stuff. Like, she says all that, but it also sounds like she's still in character. So that leaves me more confused. Like maybe the voice is real, but her being black was an act. She never addresses anything specifically as far as like what's an act. I know everyone on Instagram, like the little Tays, they're all putting on a front. But for her, it was the whole like ethnicity thing. And there's never really been any clarification of that from her. Like some of y'all need to use y'all common sense. Like not everything you see on it. Remember when they said not everything you see on the internet is true? So not not every person you see on the internet at a certain way, that's not how they really act. Whatever the case may be, it took some adept maneuvering by her management or whoever to get her to go from point A as a race baiting idiot to point B where she's at now, which is just kind of like this social media star that's kind of eccentric and lands brand deals. So you got to give them props for that uh, image rehabilitation. I mean, not but a few minutes ago, she told me I was beautiful and was motivating me to go to the gym. Talk about a 180 since the last time we checked in with her. By the way, she also swan dived fully into the YouTube lifestyle now with 672,000 subscribers. She's really turned up the content production in the past couple months and been hopping on some popular trends as well. For instance, anything you can carry, I'll pay for challenge. I think Mr. B started that one actually. Never have I ever with my crush, a classic. Let's have a baby prank, gets real. <laughs> One of my favorites. And more recently, not but two days ago, she jumped on this terrific trend of videos of people picking up their boyfriend or girlfriend in an Uber under disguise. Listen, I'm not knocking the hustle. I've been chasing views for a minute, but some of this shit is just so stupid. Anyways, let's take a peek. Are you Shay? Yes. So, Shay, everything good with you? The air all right? Yeah, it's great. Okay, if you get hot, just let me know. I want to make sure you feel comfortable. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. Okay, I'm trying to make you real comfortable. It's about on par for a YouTube prank, to be honest. Shut it, chill, chill, chill. I'm about to get about this bitch, bro. What are you doing? But I'm really finna get about this bitch. <laughs> Shay, me. It's me. I was just playing some prank. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Shay. Subscribe to me. Get me to a million subscribers. I just got her good, y'all. She was scared of folks. So, epic prank by the Vixter, really making a dent in the YouTube game. I expect big things out of her in the rest of 2019. Uh, really excited to see her just take the bull by the horns and hit that million subscribers. You know, I, some people would say that I'm. This isn't this this whole video. This isn't about hating on Will Vicky, right? I don't make these videos to hate on people. I'm simply making a critical analysis of Vicky's body of work. Right, just from start to finish, where she started, where she is now, just... <laughs> anyway, safe to say she's thriving. Uh, I'm still pretty much just as confused as I was two years ago about who she actually is, but maybe that's part of her intrigue, is the mystery behind it all. But thank you guys uh, for watching. If you could <laughs> thrust that mother and like button for me. And thank you so much to Experian for sponsoring this video. A little word about them. Listen, I know it's not easy building your credit score. I know from experience after spending a decade in my 20s making very questionable financial decisions and then spending years trying to build it back up. But now there is a fast and easy way to instantly boost your credit score for free. Experian Boost helps boost your credit score by using the payments that you're already making, like your utility bills or your cell phone bill, which up until now you couldn't use to help contribute to build your credit score. But now with Experian Boost, you can. It used to take months to improve credit scores, but now there are people all 
over America, like you and I, that are using Experian Boost to help instantly improve their credit score by greater than 10 points on average. With Experian Boost, you can potentially help establish or increase your access to credit. It's safe, secure, 100% free, and there's no credit card required. So boost your FICO score instantly and for free with Experian Boost using only my link, expeiancom slash Leon Lush. That's Experian.com forward slash Leon Lush, or you can click that same link in the description box below. All right, I appreciate you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.